no good. Now, we can say, okay, function. Of course, you have to create a function. The function keyword comes first. The name of function. Most in an add. One add. Now, since the function not taking any parameter, we not go indicate anything inside this bracket. Good. Then we go open our coily bracket. Then we go say, and we know the return. Remember, we are not returning. So we can say, we can say const a. We can say let a be five, right? And then we can say const b. Let b be seven. So since we are adding here, we can now come and say const result is equal to a plus b. Then here, if you can say console.log, right? Result. So what are we doing here? We are saying, okay, this function, we are calling it add. But the function is not taking any parameter. And then this one, we are declaring, these two we declare now. These two are called local variables. Why? Because they are only available inside this function. If I say we declare them outside the function, now in the values feed they are available to other functions. You understand? So, any value you declare inside of a function can only be used by that same function. So here, what I'm trying to say is that I created another variable called result and I'm adding A and B and store inside the result. Then here, what I'm trying to do is I'm printing out the result. So, uh, that it means if we run this code, I'm expecting to get 5 plus 7, which is what? Which is 12. So, more run now. Ah. Uh -uh. See these people? Typical Java. Ah. Mazi, what's the Anogo? Anogo touch something. Okay. No, Allah. See what you go do. More console the log A plus B. Like this. Okay. I mean, now because of this semicolon, one no add. Ah. Okay, okay. We did correct. You see, ba? You see what I tell you, program is sometimes you go to forget. Now, now we would don't do the function. If anytime we be say we want to use this function, you get yes, yes. we can call the function. You understand? So we are calling, we are calling it outside the block. block. Good. So we have to call it outside of the function. So if you want to call this function now, what is the name of the function? Add. And because it's a function, you have to use these brackets. You get. Okay. Now, this is our function. You understand? We declared our function here. Yes, yes. But even if we run the code, nothing is going to happen. Because why? We have not called the function. What we have done is just to declare the function. It's just like, it's just like you tell person say, you go come. Maybe the person get event. You can tell and say, Baba, no worry, I go come. You understand? Now, you don't already tell and say you go come. But that event, by the time the event starts, like, and you never come, you know, say, like, you never they complete. Yes. Now, when you come, now the person go come to us, okay, yes, finally, this guy don't, he don't show. So, now the same thing with function, once you call them, once you make them, which is this, you got stick, for you to use them, you need call them. It's just like you get picking for house, right? Mm -hmm. And you are making help you do something. You know, say, you know, if you just sit down, imagine for your mind, maybe picking can't do, do that thing for you. Where you go to him? Yes. You need call him. Maybe you call him name, say, Jude, come and help me do this. Then your system will come run him for you. Yes. So now, so functions they. If you don't call them, they no go do, they no go do anything. They go just sit down, they look you. Like you understand? So if we want make it do this thing where we don't define here, make it do, we got call them. And to call function, you go use the function name and then this bracket. 
Why do we have to use a bracket? Good. Without using the bracket, right? The bracket is what differentiates a function from a variable. Okay. You understand? Okay. Now, more say like, I want to create variable. Once I do like this, this is a variable. Yes. You understand? But once it's like this, this is a function. So now this bracket, now they differentiate variables from functions. Once I see for front of here, we got put this thing here. Do they grab? Yes, I do. Good. Now, if you check this result, this one. Okay, I go more run the code. Then I go do another thing. Then I go show you. So more run the code, more could see. Now what do you see? Twelve. Twelve. Now more say we want we want run this function five times. Now just for we to to column five times. Two, three, four, five. So more run now. What do you see? Five times. Five times. So you you grab? Yes. No, because we the console logam from the function, right? Nobody return with the return the value. We the print the value directly. So by merely calling the function out, you grab, you go print out the answer for us. You get? So, so now, so now, we don't need to, since we don't really print and inside that block now, we don't need to see print out and outside the thing. Good, good, good. Now, if I more even test, more test printing it outside, most of it will give us. Not then also programming, they will go test, test. Yes. So, more even try printing it, most of it will get. What do you see? Undefined because already would already print the result. You get so now this same code. Make I show you something. This same code. Now this time around we could use return return statement with return. Now instead of printing the results directly, you they hear me? Yes. What we go do? We could just return the result. Now, what would they try talk? We say this function, once you call them, what they go give you back now result. But it just they give you, you know, go print them for you because we know the console logger. It just they return them. So now, depending on if you want print them. That means you got console log the function. You get? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you remember the first one we would do, right? Yes, yes, yes. You know, say we console log and from inside the function. Yes. But this one now. Now mostly like. We know one print time. Like we, we want to say if you call the function, eh, we want make that calling of function may just return the value. May give us the value, but may no print time. Okay. You understand? Now, the reason why all these different ways exist now because you feel the right program, computer program, where we say at that point in time, you just need the value. You don't need make the value they printed out. Mm -hmm. You just need the value for something. You understand? Okay, most here now, right? Share with they add these two. Five and seven. Yes. I know I'm print out five and seven. I want to add another number to waiting five and seven go give me. Before I go print out. You get? So in this case, what I go do? I feel name the new number. You understand? If you name a, if you say let final result, you understand? Now let final result now be 
Waiting five plus seven will give us. Because we they return the results. So we they return five plus seven. So waiting five plus seven will give us then plus ten. You grab. Now, in this case, I need the value. I don't need the printed value. Now, the value I need, gong gong, I need, I want to use the value. Like, I know, I know one print amount. I want to use them for another calculation. You understand? So, since I want to use the value for another calculation, I have to return the value. I don't go console log on. I go just return them. Okay, okay, you just they like I give you gift. Abby, as okay, Barnabas, uh, this gift I want you that next two months. Keep the gift for me, and I wrap the gift. You understand? Yes. Now remember the gift, nobody no be you get them, but I they give you based on I want to make you help me hold on. Yes. You get yes. you know say you know go go unwrap the gift. Yes. Uh -huh. That gift now, after two months, you got give me back the gift. Exactly. And even me, when you go give me back the gift, no be me go unwrap them. Now, the person who I want to give the gift to, now he go unwrap the gift by himself. Okay. So, here too, I get this function. I the expect made this function add two numbers for me. But I want to make you return the number back for me. I know I make you show me the number. Guys, this return now we don't return. I'm saying you don't do the inside calculation without you yes. it. Yes. Okay. So wait, in don't do the inside calculation. Wait, I want me to give me back now the final value of the calculation. Or more, they come make I switch. They don't take a light. <laughs> Yes, I'm here. No, no, my neighbor. Nah, I do on, I do on solar. So if I leave the TV on, it will run down quick because nobody have to know. You grab, huh? Yeah. So, eh? Yeah, so you they see my screen, ba? But you they grab it here at the at the try talk. Yeah, like very well. Good, good. So now what I will need here. I just need the value that A plus B is going to give me. I don't want you to print it out. It's the value that I need. And why do I need that value? I need the value because I want to add 10 to whatsoever value that is going to give me. You understand? So, yes. so any place where you go use return now place where we say you you need that value you need to use that value for another thing you don't want to use that value then and there like you don't want to make it tell you what in the value will be because nobody there you need the value you need the value for somewhere else so in that case now you go use return yeah. You grab. I grab. Good. So now, since now, what would they talk here? Once we call this function, what he go do? We say he go give us the value where the function they return, which is result. And result here say a plus b and a plus b that's five plus seven. So what would they expect here at twelve? Then here we are adding ten to the twelve, and we are storing everything inside our final result. Result. So now, to no, to check our final result, we we'll do console log final result. Understand? So let's run now. What do you see? What do you see? I see the the twelve and undefined. Okay. Check again. I know no, it don't, your screen does freeze. I see the switch at the screen. Okay, the screen freeze. Yeah. It will. And they call make I make I reshare. Make I stop the share.
You don't understand? Okay, yes, we are. I'm seeing 22 now. Good. So you see 22, huh? Yes. So now, more, more check. You understand? More remove this function. More remove them out. You get? Okay. Then more could we try to use this function. More could see if it could give us the same thing. You get? So here now, more could bring this one. More bring them back here. So Moku run now. What do you see? Twelve. So no, like now if you check, you work this add plus ten, you work. Eh? No, you no know work. You no know work. Good. And you know why you no know work? Because you return no day. Good return no day. So this one no they give us value. That's why you see here this first 12. Now this one here. For this one, yeah. They might remove this one. They might run out. This first 12. Now this function. Where we call them here. As we call them for here. Now it give 12. But this final result. Because this one where they give us 12. No be the value 12 if they give us. It just they return the value for us. You know they give us the value. You understand? Yes. So adding 10 to it, of course, it's not returning a number for you. It's only printing out a number. So that's I see here, printing out final results. It will show you a thing, not a word. Um, number. Number. You understand? Because here, what your function call is doing is simply just printing out for you. It's not returning any value. It's not giving you any value. You understand? Now, if we want to make it work as normal, instead of console log, we will return the value. So if we run it now, what do you see? 22. So you you don't they grab the difference between normal console log and return? Yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this one have a function. We know they accept any parameter. So if we go for functions where they accept parameter, right? Yes. Now instead of this, instead of giving the function a value before calling it. This time around, we go, we go give our parameters here, mostly A comma B. Now, these parameters, what we try to say, the value where we go feed the function. Now, when we call the function, we go feed them that value. You know, say this one, the first one we will do, right? Yes. We know, like, we give our value directly. Inside the function, we give give a value inside the inside function. the function block, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Then we just here we just call column. Yes. But this one now, we no one give a value before we call them. One may be saying now, when we call the function, we will give a value. Okay. Eh, uh, it's just your calculator. You grab, you know, say if you add two numbers, you must give the, the calculator which number you will add. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. So maybe you want a function, but the function now, you are making the work on different data. You don't make it just the work on just one single set of data. Yes. Okay, so now what will they try to be say as we call this function any two numbers? That's why you see we, we give space, we give two variables here. So what will they try to say if we call the function, the two variables we will give this function, now the two variables we can replace this a and b. So we say now as we call them, we give this function four and maybe six. What you want to hear this say four we can replace a. a. Six we can replace B. So here, where they use A plus B, you go instead you go use four plus six. Okay. You understand? Yes, I understand. I understand. Good. So now you may say if you do four six here, what would they expect? More remove this plus ten. What would they expect here? And I make you give us ten. Ten. Yes. And you know say would they return the value? 
So it means that since we return the value, it means we need to store a missile a variable, then print out the final value. Yes. Uh -huh. So if we run now, what do you see here? 10. 10. Now, if we say we want to change here to 60, change this one to maybe 10 or maybe 15. Abi? Yes. Now, if we run them again, what do you see? 75. 75. So, in a situation where you need that function, make it work on different set of numbers. Instead of making just hard code the number inside the function, you can use function parameter. So, inside the function is called parameter. Why calling the function is called argument? In this case, we call it argument. Why in this case we call it parameter? parameter. I'm so sure passing in the argument at this point here now. Good. Good. So at this point, it's just a parameter. We don't know what is there, but we shall know that you are supposed to provide two things. Then why here? This is actually the argument. This is what we are using in place of those parameters. So you call them argument. You grab. Uh -huh. So now, who say, right? They get what they call positional argument. Now, when they say positional argument, right? Yes. Most say I want because now you see this function, yeah? Most say I don't put any value. You see, I don't put any value. Yes. If I run them, see what will happen. Yeah. It will give me error. Mm. You get? Yes. If come on, only one I put, what say 25? My runner. You see, it will still give me error. Yes. I have to put two because here, yeah, what is expecting now? Two things. So if I like, I feel come here, right? And I will give a default value. I will say the default value may be four and maybe what say two. So what are they try to talk here? Be say. If person call the function without giving it any value, make it default to using four and two. Yes. So if I run up, see what thing will happen. What do you see? Six. Six. Why? If I give her one single value, what I give her twenty-five? What thing will happen here? Eh? Um, it will replace this A. If not only one I give her, and I I in a positional parameters, and I give her only one value. You go replace the first one. So here now, in place of A, what you go get here now 25. But B go still remain as 2. So if you run and see, what you get? 27. 27. You grab? Yes, I grab. Good. So now, but once we give them the two values, most of we give them um, 5. You go see, say, instead of using these ones, now with this one, what you provide them here, you go use, you go use the 2. So more run and see. What do you see? 30. 30. You get? Yes. So some people, because of, so that they don't go get anything, they have to do zero. Here, they feel just give them the fourth value of zero. So that even if person where they do them, do mistake, you don't put anything, you go just return zero. Okay. You understand? Or maybe you do mistake, give them 24, you go return the 24 for you. Instead of making return error. Yeah. You grab? Yes, I understand. Uh -huh. So now, now here with this function. Okay, we don't do this one. We don't cover this one. We yeah, don't cover this one. We don't cover this one. Yeah. This one too. We just cover it now. Yes. So even this one, you see, say we use return here. If we like, eh, we don't go use return here. If we like, we go just use console. No. You understand? Then here, we will just call our function. Because already we will print them out. You understand? Okay. So calling the function now, it will just print, give us the result directly. So here, we will give her maybe, we say 18 and maybe 12, right? So more run now. What do you see? 30. 30. So here, we know they return the value. We just print them out directly. 
you get but most say i i want to use this value i don't want to just print the value out i want to use the value for something i have to call call, me, call return then here if you store this value inside somewhere if you say okay final result right then if you can't say oh yeah i could just say result then here if you can't say okay let final result be result plus we say like 17 or result minus minus more say 20 right yeah. so now go console log final result so more run now so what you see 10 10 because why i need the value of waiting this function will give me i need you to do another thing so instead of make i just print and directly that's why i need use return for RAM. So you you grab. Yes, I understand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So now that's the difference between using return and just using console log. But most of the times for your program, you go find and say what you need more than this return. Uh -huh. Because most of like now one build calculator. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you have build standard calculator. If you do, um, despite the fact that you still need the 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 DDC, you know, the, maybe you still need the console logon. But at some point, you say you still need to the what in the column, the return, so that other these things be make use of them. Okay, Moku, Okay, so you don't you don't grab the basics now. Yes. So now more 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 build one simple calculator with all these things. More to see. Abi. Yes. So simple calculator. So our calculator. Abi. Number one, you go to add. Number two, you go to subtract. Number three, you go to divide. You go to multiply. Number four, you go to divide. Abi? Yes. Now, this is not what we have here. More say, or instead of even this simple calculator, eh? More make function. Where they check for greater than or less than. Or check for the maximum number and multiply it by the addition of those two numbers. So, what do we want build, right? We go get two numbers. So, those two numbers we will get. Abi, you go first check for the maximum. Which one will be higher than which? Then, after that, any of them with the maximum. Now, that one will go come multiply by the addition of those two numbers. So, it means number one, we need a function that check for max. If we use function max. So of course we they check two numbers x and y. Now what you want to make you do? Make you return the bigger one. So how will you take check? We will say if I don't know if you know this this simple one. This one where did they use x greater than y? Question mark. You sabi this one? Uh, I don't forget the this arithmetic. Uh, yeah, I know that. I know we don't okay. do something like this. Good. So what you, this one, what you they try to be say, you they say, is x greater than y? If it is true, return x. If it is not true, return y. So this call loop, right? Now they differentiate the value where go return if it be true, and the value where go return if it be false. This question mark, I'm more like, the question mark they ask this your expression. Is x greater than y? Yes, you go return x. 
Is X greater than Y? No, it will return Y. Name the ternary operation, bro. Oh, ternary operation. Yeah. You grab? Yeah. Uh -huh. But, but if, if say, so what could just use normal if? So if you say here, if x is greater than y, Abi? Yes. What you go do if x is greater than y? You go say x is greater than y. You go say return, return what? Return x, Abi? Okay. Uh, because now the greater one they look for the, okay yes yes uh -huh. else this else now they say okay in case x no the greater than y what he go do then return y, y. y. Yes. yes now you know why would they return why would they return here yeah, why do they say we know the console log and why do they say they return the value because we need the value good beautiful because we need the value no assume say we don't need the value we just want no. In this case, we don't even need return. We will just use console dot log. That's in the case where we say we don't need the value. We just want no. Which of them? Abi? Yes. You could just use console dot log. So in this case now, we will come then for the function call. Of course, the function call it a, it a depend on two numbers. Abi. So yes. we we'll call the function. Most say we we'll give a minus two. And maybe five. So most see what he will give us. So what he give us five. Five. Of course, five is greater than minus two. Two. Okay. So more give him. More say fifty and more say twenty. So more check. So what he give us fifty. Fifty. Of course, fifty is greater than twenty. Twenty. But in this case, don't be waiting. We want with that. Now the value we need, because from here we say after you check for the maximum, make you multiply the maximum number by the addition of the two numbers. So of course, now the main value we need. So we go return now. Now in this case, since we don't get function to check for the maximum number, here they say addition of the two numbers. So it means we still need another function where we help us add the two numbers together. You understand? Okay, since we don't do this first one, we need to do the second one now. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we don't already get the values for this for this first one. one. Okay. You understand? And that's the work, that's the point of using functions. Functions, you use functions like the way for advice you say, make sure your function is performing just one task. Okay. Uh, this addition, adding the two, is that we don't feel add the two inside this function. But in essence, your function is supposed to do just one thing. So, this function, they look for much more a minimum or minimum the next function go do addition so if you say function add right yeah. we go supply x y yeah. then this case now wait till they return remember we also need the value of this function because see we they add the maximum number that's the value from this function Plus the addition of the two numbers. That's the value from this function. So this second function now, are we doing addition? Yes, we are doing addition. Okay. So here you can return x plus y directly. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. So here, instead of both first storing for value as x plus y, then returning the value, if you still return the, uh, the statement. You understand? Okay. And uh, because how JavaScript they work, they work from right to left. You understand? Okay. That's why you figure something like this. Uh, let x equal to five plus six. What you go do? It they right work from right to left. So it go first come six plus five. Now waiting. Now eleven. Eleven. Then it will come store them inside X. Okay. You get? Okay. So this one too now the same thing. It will first say Y plus X. Then it will come reach return. Return will come give you waiting this one B.
Oh, grab it. Yes. Uh -huh. So now here, if you can say, let's find Wait, so, out. So now this second function we will create now. Y yes. Right? Yes. You know they carry the values for this first one. It is standard fresh again. Good. It is standard fresh. Okay. okay. You grab her. Huh? Yeah. It is, it is standard fresh. Okay. So, final result. Now, remember, there's a more add the maximum number and the addition of the two numbers. The two numbers. So, most say now, max, one check between maybe five and seven, Abby. Then yes. plus add the two numbers now five and what seven, seven. Abby. So yes. more print out our result. <laughs> so what would they do here? They say, would they say okay? Using this max function, give us the maximum number between these two numbers, which is five and seven. Of course, here it will give us seven, Abby. Yes. Then plus, give us this function now, go return the addition of those two numbers. So, this one will go, go add 5 plus 7, which is what? 12. 12. So, we get plus 12. So, what do you expect? 19. 19. Abby? Yeah. So, more run the code. So, what do we get? 19. So you you don't grab the the essence of return. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So this is why some function you see console dot log some function you will see return. And you still combine the two. You understand? Uh -huh. If one combine the two here, what we just need to do is to first console log it before we return. Because once you return, eh, your program, your execution of your function will stop. You understand? Okay. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. So if if you want use if you want combine both console dot log and return you can first call the console.log first before you call the return you get so what could run this one what could see what do you see you see say for this one first of all it returns seven the console log seven yes this one the console.log our what 12 12 then this final one then you can give us the final answer, which is what? 19. 19. You get? Yeah. Uh -huh. So it depends on what you can do for. So now if you want, the third, this thing for that, there was a multiplication, this thing there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I multiply it. Oh, now multiply. I just said, I'm, I do. Okay. I'm a bit sorry, I'm saying I add. Now multiply, sorry. So you see, I'm 84. I just said I add, sorry. So it finds the maximum number. Then multiply by the addition of, addition those, two of those two numbers. Okay. So if we like, if we change this one to maybe five and two, this one to we'll change them to five and two, then thirty-five because the maximum between five and two now five. Then five plus two now seven. seven. Five times seven. Thirty-five. So, so any any question?